it's your girl e welcome back back to my channel welcome if you're new and happy new year i go i hope you guys had an amazing new year and looking forward to 2023 just as i am and i just guys showed you my little new year set that i was supposed to you know upload for you guys to show you how i did it and all that jazz but the nails on my right hand i did not like the video the quality and i was just like Meh, i'm not gonna put this up if i don't like it i feel like you guys ain't gonna like it that's just how i feel so i chucked it and then the nails on my left was this beautiful 3x full cover tips that i got from amazon um it's gonna be in the description box i wanted to try you know the the really long nails and i wanted to see like how it works so i went ahead and i did that video that video was ready to go and everything and then my phone started to act up because i do my uploads and my recording on my phone so i just gave up and here we are so i'm showing you uh the peel off base coat that i uh, wanted to try out for you guys is the jello jello peel off base coats is a korean one that i got off of what is it called i can't remember the website i'll probably put it in the description so you go ahead and you apply the base coat and then to remove the nail you go and you use the one kill oil which you put around your cuticle areas and then you come in with your wooden stick and you slide it in between and get and start to lift up the nails the key to this product is that you do have to give it time to do its magic so they suggest that you wait from two to three minutes and then you come in with the wooden stick to go ahead and start um, peeling off the nail. When you do that, that's when you start getting the results. And if you get like, if you're able to like lift a little bit of the corner, or if you already have a little lifting, you can go ahead and just like lift it and then insert, try to get that oil in there and it's gonna do its magic. When they start to finally pop off, I had no damage to my nails other than the ones that I already had before putting on this set because, you know, you say, don't do this and don't do that, and then we go and do the complete opposite. So that's what's the deal. So you're going to see my nails a little bit rough. Oh, yeah, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. You can see my nails. They look, they look a, a little rough, but that is not the product's fault. That's my fault. It was very simple to remove once you got the oil inside the cuticle area or wherever you have lifting. I do have to say that I think if you do put a thicker layer, because I put a thin layer because I want the product to last, but I think if you put like a thicker layer, um, they may pop off a little faster. I like to do thin layers because I don't want them to come off while I'm in the process of getting my nails done. But once they come off, you guys are going to see it. It's just going to go plop, 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 and then it's just going to pop right off. It was fun. So let me know what you guys think of this set. I wanted to go ahead and try really long nails because I don't do them. I really, I don't. Like to all you ladies or gentlemen, whoever that likes these really long nails like hands down for ya because everybody keeps asking oh my god like how do you go to the bathroom no my biggest struggle was putting on pantyhose guys the amount of struggle that i had putting on pantyhose never again never i got to the point that i don't even, i didn't even pull them all the way up i just left them there and walked out the house like i was over it i was hot i was tired just finished cooking and i'm over here struggling to put on pantyhose with three xl full cover tips and on top of that they had jewels on top so you know even though i try to like put top coat in the crack so this way nothing gets caught 
that was work so regard forget that question how do you know it's how you get dressed that's the real question how do you guys manage to get dressed because to do a button with just a little bit of nails i'm struggling and man uh, with them long nails oh jesus i was dying so here i'm back with my um wooden stick and i am lifting because remember these are nicely sealed um and i'm just trying to get the little lifting up and you know when you see any lifting you go ahead and you just keep applying a little bit of the oil and like i said before you um you wait the two to three minutes so this way the oil can do its magic but yeah guys I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. I hope you guys have a healthy um, 2023. Hope um, you guys set your goals and strive to try to meet every single one or at least make the attempt because I know that my goals are set and i hope that as they come and as i'm getting them done i guys can share with you what my goals were for 2023 so yeah thank you guys and i also want to thank all my new subscribers and all my og subscribers like you guys are the reason why i come back and keep doing these videos and just you know putting contact and creating all these little designs for you and you know you are the reason why i still want to continue to make this channel grow so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this and then i'm gonna jump back in when we about to do a design the jello jello before that i went ahead and i prepped my nails pushed cuticles removed the shine off my nail bed as well as removing um any dust from the filing so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a nice thin, thin coat of the jello jello peel off base coat and then we're gonna go and cure it for a full 60 seconds and then we are gonna come back and i already have my tips sized and they're from young nails they're the almond shape and i just want to show you guys that if you have tips or you can put little stickies just put your um sizes so this way you don't have to constantly go back or if you have a good memory kudos for you because i don't i won't remember and then I'm gonna come in with my Manny Q Fiber Gel. Normally, I etched out the insides of my full cover tips, but I just didn't feel like it. I wasn't with it. I just wanted to try and see, you know, see what works best, what you should and shouldn't do. And I wanna see how long these nails are gonna last if I don't etch them out. And then I'm coming in with this, my, you know, my YN um carrying little lamp for my extensions and before i used to apply a thin layer over my nail bed but now i just go ahead and put a nice dollop of the product inside the tip and then go ahead and apply it to my nail as i mentioned before when i used to do these nails guys i would be pushing down on my nails like I was trying to break off my finger and I was watching um one of a youtuber I can't remember exactly who but she, I remember her saying that when you put on nails um full cover tips with extension 
I'm sorry. When you applied the full cover tips with the gel, you're not supposed to be struggling or pushing down on the nail too hard. It's supposed to be a nice light touch. So it made me realize that I didn't have enough product on my nail. So once I went ahead and I did all five fingers, I'm coming back in with my swipe. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that sticky layer because I may have some over, over I may have some spillage around the cuticle areas and I want to make sure I get rid of that tacky layer. Coming in with my cuticle bit, you know, just to flesh my cuticle and remove any of that spillage that I may or may not have on my nail. As you guys see, I put on my little gloves because, you know, I'm trying to protect my hands from the UV lights. Cause, you know i be doing my nails a lot lately so you know trying to be safe so i'm gonna go ahead and do that through all my five fingers let you guys watch that and i was really careful like i was saying before if you go lightly you will see the product just literally just rise up and you don't have to push all the way down because i would be pushing my nail down on the nail on my nail bed as well as pushing my finger onto the nail so this way I make sure I get a nice seal of the product and you really don't have to do that you just got to make sure you have enough product on your full cover tip so that was a great tip that I learned from one of my um, youtubers that I like to watch and I will let you guys watch this and I'll be back. showing you the color that we're going to be using this lovely pink from amazon in the number i believe 149 it's a beautiful pink and i felt like i wanted to do pink and i am not a pink person but i just felt like these nails called it but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and apply a base coat because normally i'd be etching out the top of my nail you know making some scratches on it but i didn't do that but before I go ahead and apply my base coat, I gotta apply some protein bond since I didn't scratch the nails. So this way we have no peeling of the product. I know you're not supposed, you don't really need to do it, but I'm doing it because I'm doing it for insurance purposes because making sure that my nail polishes does not be peeling off my nails. So I go ahead and I do that to all my five fingers and make sure you put it like a little bit on the cuticle area. So this way we seal everything nicely. Um, and then we're gonna come in with the manicure base. And then once we do that, we're gonna come in with the color. And like I said, it's a beautiful pink and I just felt like the set required it because I'm not a pink person, I'm a nude person. And then once I do that, we're gonna go ahead and cure in the lamp 
for 60 seconds for the base and then 30 seconds for the color and then for the final coat of the color we're gonna go ahead and cure for a full 60 seconds for the pink I went ahead and I did three coats very thin and you want to make sure you wipe the edges of your nail so this way product doesn't build up around the edge of the nails so this way it'll make the, your nails don't lose its shape or form so you go ahead and guys watch this and i'll be back for the next part how the color is looking tell me it doesn't look so pretty so i'm coming in with these aroba flakes from daily charms i believe i got this in my may surprise mystery box and i'm gonna go ahead and use it with a makeup brush and you have a tacky layer already on the nail from the gel polish so you just want to go ahead and apply it lightly i try to do an ombre that's what i was going for at first but then towards the end once i finish the look of the nail i decided that i want to go ahead and coat the whole nail but i really don't want to cover the pink so i do like little you know uh little tap 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 of the flakes all over the nail so guys tell me what you guys think so far of the design we gonna put some unicorns to let me know that you got this far of the video and you're also gonna hit that little like button because you're gonna let me that's you letting me know that you like and i hope that you're subscribed and if you're not please subscribe you know i do videos like this i do videos on doing other people's nails i do hauls which one is coming up on my not next video because next video I'm gonna do my right hand but the one after that one because I'm still waiting on two things no three things to come in the mail and then we're gonna do one massive haul my husband was like no why don't you just do it in two parts I don't want to I just want to show you guys everything so I decided that I wanted to apply some stones or some rhinestones on my nails and i have these beautiful aurora stones that again i got from may's a mystery charm box from daily charm and i'm using this non-wipe uh rhinestone glue that i got from aliexpress from full beauty and it's nice and thick so a little bit goes a long way and it's great because it does not let your rhinestones move around slide because i know when you're using some certain glues you put your rhinestone one place and then they end up in another spot and you're like what the hell so this um glue is working for me and like i said a little bit goes a long way and with the stones you can go ahead and apply them anywhere. The size doesn't matter. It's how you're feeling that day. And this is how I'm feeling today when I was doing this set. So 
yeah guys this is how it's gonna get done throughout all my fingers and don't forget that you want to seal in your crystals and you want to come in and you want to take some top coat um, and use a liner brush because that's how I do it or however easy it is for you but a liner brush is easier for me because I'm able to get through all the cracks I personally don't like to put top coat on my rhinestones because I feel like and I've heard um, professionals say that when you put top coat on rhinestones they end up losing their shine and that's not what we want so I go ahead and I take a liner gel a liner gel a liner brush with top coat and I get in those cracks um, I don't show you in this video because it literally took me seven minutes just to do my nails so multiply that by five that was literally like 35 minutes of applying top coat to all of the nails to make sure I seal them all in and I get in there nicely so this way they don't get um, caught on anything or your hair will get um, trapped in there because if it's one thing that hurts the most is when your damn hair gets trapped in your nail because not only is your you pulling your own hair but you sometimes you end up pulling your own nail and we don't want that because sometimes we can be a little too aggressive with doing things so with that guys i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this like um this video subscribe to my channel turn on those notifications i do hauls i do giveaways i do watch me do other people's nails as well as watch me do my nails so i will catch you on the next one and i really do hope guys you're having an amazing new year and it we're starting with our right foot forward in the right direction okay all righty then so i will catch you on the next one bye and don't forget guys if you have any questions any concerns you can go ahead and drop me a comment or you could just say hey girl hey because i do respond to all my comments all right maybe not right away but i do it all right guys bye just have to jump in and talk about these sets aren't they so pretty i think i did such an amazing job guys let me know don't forget put a unicorn emoji to let me know that you like all right guys bye